gamers? I'm Jason. I'm Julie. And today on Dice and Dragons, we continue our journey through all of the Zombicide Invader games. Well, they don't always have the Invader title, but today we will be covering Zombicide Black Ops, published by Simon Games in conjunction with Guillotine Games. Once again, designed by Jean-Baptiste Lullien, Nicolas Raoult, and I'm drawing a blank on the third designer's name. Raphael Guiton, there we go. Oh yeah, see, I remembered. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can't help you on that one. No, in any case, with that being said, I'm gonna to toss it over to Julie, who will tell you more about the game itself. So it's a cooperative game that's intended for ages 14 and above and plays in about an hour. And actually, I have a question for you, Jason, because the game box says one to 12. Now, is that accurate? Yes, it is accurate because we do get the six boards in the box. Making that then, it a true expansion. Yes, meaning you can expand Invader with Black Ops or Dark Side with Black Ops up to 12 players. So you could almost call this a party game. It would definitely be like a three hour party <laughs> game with 12 players, unless people are taking simultaneous actions and that'd be lots of chaos. Yes. That being said, if you do want to expand Invader with Black Ops and you want to play the missions contained in Black Ops itself, you will have to buy the Zombicide Invader tile set if you do not buy the base game. That's something that I do mention uh, in the components, so don't forget this video is timestamped so you can take a look at the components. We will also cover some of the new rules. There isn't a full how to play. And during the components section, it will take you to our how to play video if this is your first experience with us talking about Zombicide, specifically the Invader games. So what do you do in Zombicide Invader, Julie, since I just kind of went off on something else? <laughs> well, you're going to uh, take some actions that allow you to move around the map. Uh, you're trying to uh, basically accomplish an objective of some sort. Or um, multiple objectives. Or multiple objectives while uh, trying to evade or defeat uh, the monsters and abominations that show up. Yes, the invaders. We definitely picked a terrible planet to mine for this special asset called Xenium. That being said, I think we've covered everything, don't you? Mm -hmm. So what time is it? Well, it's time to grab our drinks. Grab our fellow survivor. We gotta take it to the table. We're gonna take it to the table. I always enjoy the Zombicide games, so. Well, how many have we played now? Six? Not six, we played Black Plague, we've played Green Horde, and then we played these three. We haven't even touched the Green Horde and Black Plague expansion, so we got plenty more to cover. Okay. Now we're gonna take a look at the components and go over some of the new rules in Zombicide Black Ops, the expansion for both Zombicide Invader and dark side so we're going to start with the black ops squad that we get so there are six new characters you can see their minis right here we've got jean andre and let's go ahead and pull up their minis so jean is the leader once again i do like the quality of the minis fairly detailed let me see if i can remember which one is andre andre is right here i love the the big coats that they have Almost gives them a warmer 40k Space Marine look. We've got Kyle and Fiona. And Kyle's the guy with the big gun, the backpack. And if I'm not mistaken, Fiona's sitting right next to him. Yep, you can tell by the skull cap. Also, lots of details on the mini. Really like it. Lastly, we've got Solomon and Maria. Solomon right here with the chain. Well, the chainsaw blade on his arm which is always very cool and Maria who was standing right in the middle there looking like our resident badass now to find more out more about Black Squad what their different abilities are you'll have to consult the back of the Zombicide Invader rulebook because in the Black Ops rulebook you do just get the game round summary some information on the new rules some of the new items that we're going to be talking about in a second, the new Zeno Juggernaut Abomination. But then you're going right into the stories, pretty much. So keep that in mind. You will need to have the Zombicide Invader rulebook handy, as it is an expansion. Now, 
All members of Black Squad are soldiers, meaning they're limited to search in security rooms. And you can tell that they're members of Black Squad by the symbol that we have in the upper right corner. Now, what's really cool about Black Squad is that they start with the Blackbird SMG, as well as a shot glove. Now you'll notice that the shot glove is a two damage weapon that you start with, but you only get to roll one dice. The thing I do like about it is back Black Squad is ready for action. Now we've taken a look at the squad. Let's take a look at some of the new equipment. We do have the new Meteor Sentry Gun. So this works very different than the standard one. And then we've got the XN35 Crawley Robot. I really like the miniature. Now this is also different than your standard bot. Now, it is a prototype, meaning it can be used outside. It fires at range one to three, but you'll notice it doesn't have any melee attacks. This really is only a gun platform, but it deals two damage. Whereas the Meteor Sentry Gun, it has special damage, meaning it removes one figure in a zone, one to three away from it, no matter what it is. So this Meteor Sentry Gun can just go poof, get rid of the big bad juggernaut. So that's how this new equipment works. Let's take a look at the new spawn cards and talk a little bit about the Zeno Juggernaut. Now, what you're getting in the spawn cards, depending on what you've bought for expansion, some of it may or may not be viable. You notice we've got the cards for the Broodmother Abomination, which isn't included in this. Neither is the Zenium Horror Abomination. I did get those in the Soldier Pack because I did back the Kickstarter. There will be some expansions and I do believe you'll be able to get these different miniatures. After that, we've got the cards for the Juggernaut Abomination. Now, this Abomination plays more like a standard Abomination from Zombicide. He's big, he's bad, he doesn't create the mold zones, but he's still fairly difficult to take out and can be killed by flamethrowers, three damage weapons essentially, or the Seismic Grenade if you're using the Dark Side expansion. You'll notice once again that we have a nice stack of player boards. So we've got the space for armor, cards, the pegs, as you can see right here, that would go into the board, the equipment, anything boosting the equipment, and you do get six of them, I meaning you can take the total player count up to 12 players. Now, what else do we get here? We've got the different colors, the different bases for Black Squad. We get two new spawn zones, the blue and the white spawn zone, as well as some more regular spawn zones. That also gives us the blue, the white and the blue doors. We do get more noise tokens, and once again, the machine activation tokens. Now, you may be wondering why you're getting some of this stuff in excess. If you do decide to make all your own custom scenarios with lots of bots, lots of sentry guns, well, you're gonna need more of these tokens. We also do have the O2 cards. So we do have the oxygen tanks making a return. You may be wondering why they are included in Black Ops. Well, if you do wanna use this as an expansion for Dark Side, which you can, now it's not fully compatible. One thing that we, I just wanna showcase here, when you are looking at the maps for the missions, these all require the invader tiles. Now, one way that you can expand it, if you would not like to buy the base game, you're just more interested in Black Ops, or you've got Dark Side, you don't wanna buy the base game. If you buy the Zombie Side Invader tile set, you'll be able to play this game without, well, you can't really expand it without Invader, but you could potentially fudge it a little bit with Dark Side and the spawn cards that you're gonna get with Dark Side. So we've taken a look at all this stuff. The last thing is really the three tiles. So you do get three new tiles, as you can see, 19, 21, and 20. I know they're not quite in order. The reason why is I wanted to talk about this tile. These are the new Xenium rooms. So these count as mold zones. Now, for those who wonder what mold zones are, if you haven't seen our how to play, I will have a quick card popping up that will take you to our review on how to play for Zombicide Invader. In these rooms, if you're able to deal two damage to the Xenium right here, it will explode, creating hellfire zones and destroying anything in that zone. That's why we've got these inactive mold tokens, even if we don't have a spoiler abomination. You would then place an inactive mold zone on the board, signifying that this area is no longer active as they are active mold zones when you start the game. And there you have it. We've taken a look at the components, talked a little bit about the new rules for 
Zombicide Black Ops. Now, Julie and I are going to be coming back at you with a review of this expansion. So what did you think of Zombicide Black Ops, the expansion to Zombicide Invader and Zombicide Darkseid? I say Zombicide a lot when we cover these games. Yeah, well, <laughs> yes, you do. Um, so I'm going to add, it's it's more Zombicide. <laughs> um, so, I mean, there's there's... There's not a lot to say, I'm, I'm going to say. Uh, there's a little bit of new stuff. Um, so we had some new characters, uh, and I, I did enjoy some of the abilities in the new characters. Um, I enjoyed the... Uh, and I have to say, I'm pretty sure we have seen this in other characters as well, though, uh, because I have seen a zero-G... Uh, yes, previously, the last time we played, I had the character with the zero-G run. Yeah. So I actually used it this time, and uh, combat reflexes on my other character I've seen in others as well, uh, but it was uh, definitely useful in this game as well. One thing I would say is I do feel that the missions that you get in the game play very well to the abilities that you get with the Black Squad characters. Yeah. And I felt that combat reflexes was quite useful, more so than we saw in previous games that we played. Yeah. So for that, that was, you know, so two of my three characters had some interesting uh, abilities that were pertinent for the game. Um, the starting equipment, it was nice to start with equipment that does two damage, though I never ended up using any of uh, any of that. Oh, you you punched a few zombies in the face. Only once, though. No, no, I don't think I've... I did. Yeah, you started in the same spot with Solomon. Oh, I don't even remember <laughs> that. Uh, in any case... Um, <sighs> You know, there's there's a couple of different mechanics. Uh, you know, the exploding rooms, uh, you know, added a little bit of fun. Um, you know, we had to have to be able to do two damage, which, you know, you have to be able to pull a, a gun that can do two damage. Or the concentrated attack, which is yeah. the other way to do it. So, you know, maybe, you know, as Jason and I were talking, maybe it's because we've played so much Zombicide, but it felt like an, uh, an, an easier version compared to other expansions that we've played. Uh, this one definitely felt... Like it was easier to cooperate, coordinate our efforts, and defeat the uh, the objective. No, oh, and I, I'd have to agree with you. We the last one we played is Dark Sides. If you are interested in seeing a review of Zombicide Dark Side, it's popping up. Well, probably over Julie's head right now. I, normally, it's <laughs> in front of my face here <laughs> as a card, so you can see that. I definitely felt that this was a lot easier than Dark Side. The darkness mechanic is a lot more challenging than anything that's added in this game. Also, I felt that having a two damage weapon does mitigate for the fact that Black Squad are soldiers and you can only search in the security room. And also, honestly, I don't know if it's just the way the cards were getting shuffled. Excuse me. We had a lot of uh, search drones come up, so allowing us to basically search. That, that was just lucky. There's only two in the, that entire Okay, deck. well, they came out <laughs> both times that we played. Yes. And I have to agree with you, though. This is just more of the same. I can't say that there is, like, a lot here that really makes this an essential expansion. If you are looking to get more Zombicide Invader, I do think that it's a good expansion. I... Do you think that the most interesting part of the expansion is by far the characters? I almost feel that, like, price-wise, it would have just been better off if you were buying, you know, a smaller, cheaper expansion pack of Black Squad than buying this whole big box. But it does add some new mechanics. You do get the new Juggernaut. You also get the ability to expand it up to 12 players, which can definitely be very useful unless you bought Darkseid. As Darkseid is a limited print run, I do think that Black Ops is going to be a solid addition to the game in the long run. I think for the moment, though, I don't know if you'd agree with me, people would be better off picking up Darkseid over Black Ops. Well, I think it adds more difficulty, as you mentioned. Uh, this one just honestly felt like more Zombicide. Like, you know, you're, you're getting more content uh, to be able to try new missions. But besides that, it felt like it very much felt like a lot of the same. Yeah, you do have the, the different bot, which I did enjoy. The bot and the turret are different. So there is some slight differences to the game. But it could have been, you know, instead of a, what retails right now, I think for about $70 Canadian. Don't worry, we got it during the Kickstarter. It wasn't that price. In any case, you could have probably got away with most of this in like a small box for about $30 to $40, I think. 
I think, I mean, I think part of what it is, honestly, mm -hmm. my opinion is there's a lot of different expansions for Zombicide. So you have, you know, your, as we say, the pick of the litter. And I don't feel like this is the best of the expansions. Well, that's, that's true, especially if we're talking about all of Zombicide. Now, we, there aren't that many for Invader itself. We do have the Kickstarter version, which gives us all of the extra characters, which are quite fun. Mm -hmm. We do have some of the different abominations and zombies that we can throw in. Plus, we also have Dark Side. I would agree with you, though, that this is a lesser game than Dark Side. That being said, Dark Side is a full game. It is a limited print run, which means they're not intending to reprint it. So at the time of us reviewing this, I would say Dark Side is definitely the way to go, even if it's $20 to $30 more. You're going to be getting a way to expand your game up to 12 players. You're going to be getting a whole new set of enemies, as well as the Green Squad characters, which we quite enjoyed as well. So now we're reviewing that game again. But if no, we no, I'm just saying the difference, <laughs> yeah. which is why I'm just saying what you get in the box. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so for me, I mean, that's that's really all I, I have to say about it. There are some good things. I did enjoy playing it. I always enjoy playing Zombicide. Uh, like I said, I just, you know, this is for me a take, or, take it or leave it expansion. No, and I would agree with you. I like Black Squad. I really enjoy being able to have the, you know, the two damage weapon that you start with. There's, there's definitely a different feel to this game than just Invader because you are soldiers. You're more aggressive. You've got different objectives and... I do feel that you start off a little bit more capable than most survivors, which is interesting. That being said, it's still Invader. And if you have the Kickstarter, well, you may have gotten everything. The Kickstarter heroes that you could have gotten aren't necessarily worth, you know, adding on Black Ops if you just, you know, happen to get the, the base game. But I think it's a nice addition to the game. I do think it's going to see its value sort of appreciate in terms of what it brings to the game as some of the content becomes less and less available, but it's not my favorite expansion to Zombicide. So, Drew, actually, one, one last thing just to mention before I forget. If we do compare it to expansions such as uh, the ones for Green Horde and Black Plague, those had new enemy types. This just has the Juggernaut, which I think is definitely a little bit of a disservice because... I really didn't think that Juggernaut was all that special. It felt more like a standard Zombicide Abomination and just almost took out some of the cool mechanics from Invader. So, Agreed. What's your rating of this expansion then? It's a 6. I'd agree with you. This is a 6. It is a solid addition, but it's take it or leave it. If you have just the game, you want more guys, well, might not be something bad to invest in. Some of the new equipment is cool, but nothing to, I'd say... Uh, go online and start chatting with your friends about. <laughs> Instead of write home about? Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's gaming. There's very f You're going to write home to your mom and dad, tell them about Zombicide? <laughs> Maybe you can tell brothers or sisters. That's true, but most of them probably don't live at home anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. We're off tangent. <laughs> yes, we are. So, Julie, what time is it? Well, uh, it's time to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified if you uh, when we have new content. And don't forget that down below in the video description, you have links to all of our social media feeds, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You want to see some pictures of us playing Black Ops? Well, there you can find them as well as pictures of other games, upcoming games, game nights. It's all there. Also, we're going to have some video links popping up right in front of us. They will take you to some of our previous Zombicide Invader content as well as the latest video. So what time is it, Julie? Now this time, it's time to grab our drinks. We grabbed them last time, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grab our fellow survivor. We gotta keep playing games. We're gonna keep playing games. I'm sure Zombicide is still gonna come to the table, and Zombicide Modern is coming to Kickstarter soon. Well, I'd like to take back out the one that had uh, the superhero uh, uh, knockoffs. Oh, you mean... Uh, Green Horde with uh, the knock Badger for Wolverine and Wonder the, Woman. Yeah, the Wonder Woman analog. Yes, we can take that out. We've got those expansions to review, so those will probably be showing up on the channel. At least one of them before the end of the year. 